Hello guys! So my video today is going to be a little different than what you guys normally expect. That is, if you are already a subscriber of mine, if you're new here then this video is probably exactly what you expect because you saw the title. I guess there's really nothing to say, I'll just get right into it. So as you can see by the title, I am here to tell you why you should not buy rabbits as Easter gifts for yourself, for your kids, for your family, who However, they shouldn't be bought as Easter gifts and I am going to tell you all the reasons why. Quickly before we get into this video, I just want to say a couple quick things. One of them is I am not saying you absolutely cannot get rabbits. I'm not saying rabbits are horrible pets. I'm not saying you shouldn't own them. I'm more so just saying watch this video and really think about your decision before you get them because obviously there are people out there who own rabbits like myself and love rabbits like myself and think they are great pets like myself. But there is a lot of things that most people don't know before they get rabbits. So I'm really here to say just watch this video listen to this video and really think about what you're doing before you do it because if you don't you might end up making the biggest mistake of your whole life. Second thing I want to say is yes I own rabbits. I am a rabbit owner. I have owned them for a while. Rabbits were one of my first pets I've ever owned and if you are familiar with my channel you know that I have like 30 pets so the fact that rabbits were one of my first really says lots. You might now be thinking why is this girl telling me not to get rabbits? if she has them herself. I'm not like going back to statement number one. I'm not here saying absolutely do not ever get rabbits. They're horrible pets. That is not what I'm here to say. I'm more just here to say listen to everything I have to say and consider getting like really really consider what you're doing before you just go out and buy a cute bunny. So now that I have said all of this I am just going to go ahead and get right into the video and I am going to tell you why rabbits don't make good Easter gifts and why you shouldn't just buy one on an impulse because they're cute. So I am sure we have all seen those adorable pictures of cute fluffy bunnies with their little ears and their little noses and their little feet and baby bunnies in a field and baby bunnies with dogs and puppies and chickens and whatever. I am sure we have all seen these adorably cute pictures and I'm sure we have all fallen in love and we just want to squeeze them and want to like hug them and love them forever. I'm sure we have all done that. Maybe I'm just crazy but I don't know. I am pretty certain that we've probably all seen those cute pictures and fell madly in love with the adorable bunnies. This is not a reason to get one because I promise you they are not as cute and adorable and friendly as you think. The first thing we're going to discuss when it comes to why rabbits don't make great pets slash Easter gifts, especially for kids, is their attitude, their behavior, you know what I mean? So most people when they think of a rabbit, they think of an animal that they can just pick up and hug and squeeze and love. That's not the case. Rabbits hate being picked up especially by children. When you are picking up a rabbit, it needs to be done in a very specific way. They have very fragile spines and if they are picked up incorrectly, they can actually break their spine and they could die or be paralyzed or just something bad could happen if you don't pick them up the right way. So this is reason number one as to why they don't make good pets for children's or families. A child could easily go to pick up a rabbit and not pick it up properly and your rabbit can possibly get severely injured. So that is one thing to keep in mind is that they need to be picked up a very specific way in order to be safe. Another thing is they just don't like being picked up. Think about the wild, the outdoors, nature. In the wild, rabbits are prey animals, so because of this, they are always very aware. They don't like big creatures like humans, you know, we're like five, six feet tall and they're like this. It can appear very scary to them, especially when you are just coming down with your hands trying to pick it up and to hold it and squeeze it. They do not like that. Most rabbits absolutely hate being picked up. You will pick it up 
and it will freak out and it will try to jump out of your hands, it'll jump on the floor or it'll kick you, it'll scratch you. And I promise you, their claws will scratch you. So yeah, they don't like being picked up, so they're not really the easiest animals to just sit there and cuddle. This being said, you usually can sit down on the floor with your rabbit and play with it there. They will usually be okay with that, but they do not like being up high, they do not like being picked up. If you put it on furniture like a bed or something, it will probably jump off. So they are not as cute and cuddly as people think in that aspect. Rabbits also have teeth. Like most animals, they have teeth and they can bite. Biting isn't a rabbit's primary defense. They won't just come up to you and bite you for no reason. But if they feel very startled, if they feel very threatened, which happens very often with rabbits, they can bite and their teeth are sharp. I promise you, they do have sharp teeth. This is just some of the reasons as to why they are not the cute, fluffy, cuddly, loving creatures that you see in pictures. If you want that, go and get a stuffed animal sloth instead. So that all being said, before you get a rabbit, ask yourself, am I looking for something I can cuddle or am I okay not being able to cuddle my bunny? Am I okay just sitting on the floor to play with it? Am I okay with not picking it up? Am I okay with not having children pick it up? Those are all things to consider before buying one. Again, like I said, I'm not telling you absolutely don't buy one, but take these into consideration. A lot of people go and get a rabbit thinking it is going to be an animal that they can just hang out with on the couch or they can bring on their bed or they can just pick up and hug and love. That's usually not the case. Now, some rabbits will tolerate it better than others. Some will be okay with being picked up. Some will be okay with going on your bed, but almost always they do not like it. That is really something to consider because a lot of people, when they think of a rabbit, they have the image of something cute and cuddly and friendly and that isn't the reality for most rabbits. So before you get one, just think about that. Is that something you are okay with? Now, the next thing I am going to talk about is the fact that rabbits are social animals. This means two things, two main things. The first thing being is rabbits should always be kept in pairs or groups. Rabbits do not do well alone and typically when people just go and buy a rabbit for Easter, they only buy it one, which really is not good for the rabbit. They are very social, they like to have friends, they really need the attention of other rabbits in order to be happy and thriving. Now there is some exceptions. Some rabbits do okay on their own. Some don't like attention, but like 95% of the time your rabbit will be much happier with a friend. And no, this can't be a human friend, unfortunately. They much prefer a rabbit's company. They can understand each other. They have, you know, like rabbit language that we don't understand. A human and rabbit bond is not the same as a rabbit and rabbit bond. So just consider this. If you are getting one rabbit, you're going to want to get to. Now we are taking into consideration the fact that they are not the cute, friendly, fuzzy animals you see in pictures and that you need at least two of them for the most part in order for them to be happy. Now going on the fact that they are social animals, there is another thing to consider. Your bunny will probably want attention from you and that may seem weird because I was just saying before that they are scared of you, they don't like being picked up, they don't like being handled, but that doesn't mean they still don't like being around people sometimes they will be absolutely fine. They just don't like being off the ground. Let them run around the living room while you're sitting on the couch. They are just fine with that. But given the fact that they are social animals, they do like rabbit interaction and they also like human interaction. So it is a very important that you can spend hours every day bonding with your rabbits. Honestly, it is best to spend between two and four hours a day with your rabbit because that is how much attention they require. They are very social, they are very needy, and they really, really crave the attention and they can get very lonely and depressed without it. So it is really important that you provide your rabbit with a friend and that you are able to spend time with your rabbit. So consider this before before getting one. Are you home four hours of the day to play with your rabbit? Are you able to take care of two rabbits instead of one? Do you have the space? Are you going to be able to let it out of the cage to run around? These are all big things to consider. The next thing I'm going to talk about is housing slash caging. Now, typically when you think of a rabbit cage, you think of one that they sell in the pet store. It is like a plastic tray. It has a wire cage. You put a house in it and that's it. These are not 
suitable for rabbits. One dwarf rabbit requires a minimum of two by four. And as I said earlier, you need at least two rabbits, not one. So you are going to need at least a four by four pen to house your two dwarf rabbits in. If you go with a bigger breed, such as Flemish Giants, you are going to need an even bigger space. So think, do you have this space? Now there are good options. Um, dog exercise pens make great cages, and then a lot of people free roam their rabbits as well. But just know you cannot keep your rabbit in one of those little pet store cages. Those are not appropriate for them. I don't know why they sell them. I hate that they do. So really, really consider this. Do you have the space? Do you have the money to buy these cages? There are some cheap DIY options, but just think about that. Do you have a minimum of four by four, so 16 square feet to give to your rabbit in your house? They do need a lot of room. With that being said, they can't live in their cage all the time. They need to come out every single day to run around. Rabbits have a lot of energy built up. They love running, they love jumping, they will binky when they're out. Binking's really cute. If you haven't seen it, look it up. So even if you get a fairly big enclosure or pen, like if you have a four x four pen, this is perfectly fine for them to live in. You can have their house, their litter box, everything like that inside of it, but they can't stay there 24 seven. They need to come out every day to have some time to run around in order to be healthy. Do you have the time to let them run around freely? Can you supervise them? Because if you don't, they will chew your baseboards, they will chew your cords, they will chew anything. So you are probably going to want to supervise your rabbits. Just consider these. They are not the friendly furry creatures you see online. They need another rabbit attention. They need human attention. They need a fairly large cage. They need time and space to run around. Can you provide all this? I'm not saying you can't. Just ask yourself if you can before you get a rabbit. Now, the next thing I am going to talk about is a rabbit's diet. Now, some people who don't know much about rabbits just think, hey, rabbits eat carrots. That is true, rabbits can eat carrots, but they are not their whole diet. A rabbit really shouldn't even eat that many carrots. A rabbit's diet is primarily going to kiss consist of hay, like a grass hay. Timothy hay is usually the most popular one. And then most people will also feed some pellets and then you also need to provide them with fresh veggies and some fruits, a very minimal amount because they are very high in sugar, but you do need to provide them with these fresh foods twice a day. Their foods can get extremely expensive, I am telling you now. Rabbits have extremely sensitive digestive systems, which in my opinion means you should always be feeding them the highest quality food possible. If you're feeding low quality food, they may end up with a lot of issues. They are serious. So in my opinion, you really, really, really want to feed the highest quality food you possibly can, and this can get expensive. Buying fresh vegetables every week, buying fresh hay every week, buying pellets every week is expensive, but their diet is extremely important because as I said, their digestive systems are so sensitive that one little thing off can literally kill your rabbit. So just know you need to really pay attention to their diet because it is extremely important for rabbits. So now that we have talked about all of this, I'm still going to talk about more. I am still going on, I'm sorry. The next thing I'm talking about is their cost. Now, a rabbit might only cost $20 to go and buy at a store from a breeder or wherever, but they are not cheap pets. As I was saying earlier, their food gets extremely expensive. I believe I spend about, I would say close to $50 a week for my three rabbits food. It is expensive. And on top of that, you are also going to be needing to buy chew toys because you buy them a chew toy, it lasts them a week or so and then it's gone. So you need to buy chew toys often, which thankfully aren't that expensive, usually only a couple dollars, but still that is something to consider in the cost and you are going to be needing either to buy bedding if you have a whole like 
cage setup or litter for their litter box if you're using a litter box. So this gets expensive too because they need to be cleaned up very often. So you are constantly changing this out, which can really add up. So the cost of caring for rabbits alone is already expensive, but now there are a couple other things you have to add on to that. Rabbits do require vet care just the same as a dog or cat would. They are not like easy when it comes to vet care. You can't just not take them to the vet. Rabbits need vet care and in my opinion, it is so important that they get it. As I was saying before, rabbits are extremely sensitive to their diet. Their whole digestive tract is very expensive and because of this, it is very important that you have a vet on hand and money to pay for it. If one thing goes wrong with their digestive system, they need to go to a vet right away because they can die within 12 hours. It is extremely important that you have a vet near you and are able to pay for a vet. Not only this, you are probably going to want to get checkups just to make sure everything is going well, just as you would with a dog or cat. Now, another huge cost to consider is spaying and neutering. Now, yes, rabbits should always be spayed or neutered in my opinion. It is so important for their health. I want to do a whole video on this topic, but just know you should always spay and neuter your rabbits. It is so important. And this is a surgery that can cost like $300, more or less depending on where you live, but it is not cheap. Rabbit vet care is not cheap. Within the past 12 months, I have gone to the vet a total of like six times for my rabbits, spending well over a thousand dollars. So vet care is very important and it is not cheap. Well, these were just some of the main points I wanted to go over as to why rabbits aren't always the pets you think they are. In my opinion, they are still great pets. If you have the time, if you have the money, if you have the, I don't know, if you have everything to provide them with, I think they are amazing pets, but they are not what people think they are. Many people think that they are very easy pets. They are cuddly, they're cute, they're friendly, they don't need to go to the vet, their diet's pretty simple, cheap, whatever. That is not true. They are not what most people think. Rabbits are very complex animals. There is just so much to learn about them. I am constantly learning. I've been owning them for years now, and every day I am still learning new things about them. They are not just cute fluffy animals that you can hug and squeeze and whatever. They are so much more than that and they are not great pets for kids with all that being said. Rabbits are best in my opinion for someone over 16. Even that I would consider like it really depends on the person. I was 16 years old when I got my first rabbits and looking back I don't think I was ready. I don't think I was taking as good of care as I should have. I've, obviously I was still trying my best. I knew everything but I feel like I was just still too young then looking back. Obviously now I feel very confident in my rabbit care that now that I'm older and I've owned them for multiple years but really just looking back at 16 years old when I got my first rabbits, I don't think I was ready. So because of this, I would really not recommend them to anyone really under 16, even 18, depending on the person. Now, obviously I know there are exceptions. There are going to be some younger people, like just for example, say a 12 or 13 year old who is fully capable of caring 
tiger or rabbit they will do their best they will love them like I'm not saying that anyone under 18 shouldn't own one, but that is really my general opinion. Again, that is just general. I know that there are some people out there who are like 13 years old taking phenomenal care of their rabbits. And then there are also some people out there who are like 30 years old who are not taking good care of their rabbits. So this is really just a general opinion. Really, I don't think they're the best animal for anyone like under 18, but that is just a general opinion, obviously. Obviously, there are exceptions to that. So I think that's really all the points I wanted to cover. I just really am very passionate about this topic. Rabbits are not Easter gifts. They are a full lifetime commitment. Rabbits can live for eight to 10 years. So it's not something that you can just get and then give away when you're bored. It's not really fair to the rabbit. There are just so many overpopulations issues. There are rabbits in shelters everywhere. It's There are people who let their rabbits out in the wild, which is awful to do. They won't survive if you do that. Just know that they will die. So don't do that, please. If you need to get rid of your rabbit, please rehome it or go to a shelter. Do not let it outside. So again, these are some of the main topics I could think of. I'm sure while I'm like editing this video, I will think of 10,000 more, but these are really the main things to consider before getting a rabbit. Just know it is a lifetime commitment. It is not a cute fluffy animal that loves, well, it is a cute fluffy animal, but like, it's not an animal that loves cuddles. They do not like being picked up. They have very specific diet requirements. They are very fragile, they need vet care, they can have health issues. There is just so many things to consider before getting a rabbit. They are not just an easy, cheap pet that you can get because it's cute. There are so many things to consider before getting a rabbit. So if you are considering getting one or two, as I mentioned, if you're considering getting rabbits for yourself, for your family, for your kids, please just continue doing research. Um, look into it as much as you can. Really, really think, is this the right pet for me before you go out and get one? Don't just get one because it's cute and fluffy and yeah, that's not a good reason. Really, really do your research. Look into them and really find out if it is the right animal for you because they are not for everyone. I absolutely adore them. I love them. I will probably have them my whole life. I think that they are amazing, but I am fully aware that they are a lot of work and they are not good for everyone. Depending on your lifestyle, how much you're home, how old you are, and everything like that, they may not be right for you or they may be perfect for you. So please, please, please just think about it before you get a rabbit. Again, I am not here saying absolutely do not get one, but please just do your research, really consider what you're getting into before you go out and buy one because they are big commitments. Well, anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you learned something from this video. If you are considering getting a rabbit, this really isn't meant to just drive you away. It's really just to make you aware of like the reality of owning rabbits and that it is probably more complicated than you think it is. So hopefully you learned something from this video. If you are still considering getting them, great. Just continue to do your research. That's all I ask. Just keep looking into them before you go and get one. And if you change your mind, there are still lots of other animals out there for you. Like I said, rabbits aren't for everyone, but if you're still looking for a nice animal, I'm sure you will find one. Rabbits, like I said, they're just not, they don't, they're not suited for everyone. But whatever your reason was for watching this video, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I would appreciate it so much. And also be sure to subscribe to my channel. I will have more videos coming soon, especially, you know, with my rabbits. Maybe you watched this video and decided, you know what? Maybe I won't get a rabbit, but I still want to see Emma's cute rabbit. So you can subscribe to see my bunnies at least because they will be on this channel more. But yeah, um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, be sure to check out all of my social media. Everything is just MSAM99. I will have it in the description below. But yes, so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video.